welcome to On Track TV. In this lesson, I'm gonna be showing you how to work with text wrap. So sometimes when we have a bunch of text on a page, we're gonna to wanna to add in different objects or photos or other things on top of the text. And by default, it's just going to layer everything on top of one another. But I'm gonna be showing you how to wrap around the text, around the object, so that you can see both at the same time. So let's dive in and I will show you how to do this. We have a document open here and I have my first block of text and my second block of text and they are path together. They're threaded together and what we're going to do is just draw in a little shape here using my shape tool. I'm just going to draw in a little black box here and I am going to place this black box in the middle of both the text. Now by default this black box is overlaid on top of the words on either side of these text boxes. And so what we want to do is actually wrap it. So how we do this is we go up to the object drop down and we go down to text wrap at the very bottom here and we click make. And what that does is pushes the words around it away from it so that nothing overlaying on top of each other. All right. Now we do have some options if we click on object again and go down to text wrap and this time we click on text wrap, wrap options, a little dialect box will open up which will allow us to change the offset. And the bigger we make the offset, the more space around the text there will be. So we increased it and now there is more space here. If we go back to text wrap, text wrap options, I'm going to just check off this preview option so we can see the changes we're making as we do it. But if I make it smaller, the text get closer and the bigger I make it, the text will get farther and farther away from it, just like so. When I'm happy with that, I'm just going to click OK. And now we have the, we can move this object anywhere on the page and the text will wrap around it for 14 whatever offset away from it. All right, now let's say we want to turn that wrap off. We can click object to go back to text wrap and this time we click on release and the words will go back underneath of it and there's no more longer a wrap around it. So that is how we're going to incorporate the text wrap into our documents. Thank you so much for tuning into this lesson and I will see you in the next one.